Morning everyone, welcome to Road Road at Restore. I'm John and in this video I'm going to be cleaning out my sump from my Vauxhall Insignia. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing we'll have to do is remove this plastic corrugated cover thing. Uh, it's just got four bolts. Uh, I'll use a 10 millimeter socket. So there's one. There's two, there's three, and there's four. Now we can just lift this plastic corrugated tray thing out of the way. So now we can drain off this sludgy oil best we can. So I'm going to order these two and that one, still on the 10 mils. Okay, bit of debris in there, but not much. Doesn't look like there's any metal in there, so that's fantastic. Just give it a good wipe out, wipe all the access up with some industrial tissue. I might just uh, whip this oil pressure switch off so I can get underneath it to clean it. Yeah, just put these two 10 mil bolts out. There's a bit of a seal on there. It could be that one what's leaking. Or it could be that one what's leaking. So when I was taking the sump off I did notice all this wetness around here. Just get some white spirit. Okay then, so put this in a bag because we don't want it to be wet. Let's give it a blast with the hose pipe.
geezer to clean the strainer out. I've just been pouring turps into this end, letting it run out that end. Done that quite a few times, it's quite clean now. There's one quite black. Now it should do that nice and clean. So now we can dry all these off and start putting it all back together. Okay, so let's get the oil sensor back out of its dry bag. Yeah, nice and dry. Put that back on there, but first I'm going to blow these holes out with compressed air because I can see shiny stuff in them, which is probably water. Okay, so I've left any bolts in there to soak, so let's get these out and dry them off. Okay, so there's three longer ones and one, and all the rest are shorter ones. I'm pretty sure the longer ones went on the oil pickup pipe. So let's stick this oil pressure switch back on, or sensor or whatever it is. Yes, because all the uh, casing on mine was all wet and damp, I remember. So, I've got this box of tricks. I'm going to swap that over for a new one. Because that's probably been in there since 2009. Okay, I think they're going to be too fat. Bloody hell. They don't want to work. Okay then, so this is actually a different day. Been to the local car shop. Bought that seal. It's just a little bit thicker than that one. Because as you know, I couldn't find one in my kit. So, it's got some uh, silicon grease. It's going to put a little with that one. Still a bit go back on here. There we go. Slide it back onto their groove. A bit tricky. There we go. To slide it back into the uh, dingly do. Hopefully, the grease will help it slide in because that's in the way, so we're going to have to take that off. So, if you are doing this job, don't put that on yet, put that on first. Again. Here we go. 
get to take the old seal out of the casing. Okay, so next it should be this gizmo with the three longer bolts. One there. One there. Okay, so that's that. Lid back on. Or ten mil bolt. Ten mil. Ten mil bolt. Okay, so that's it. Just got to put the sealant on it, then I can reinstall it back into the car. But before I do that, I'm going to do a couple of dry runs to try and uh, see which is the best and easiest way to put it back into the car because it was a bit tricky to pull out. So but that's not going to be in this video because I'm going to finish this video here. So I will see you in the shed. Okay then, so that's how I cleaned out my sump and my pickup strainer from my Vauxhall Insignia 2 litre CDTI SRI. So, hope you enjoyed it, hope you liked it. Uh, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you in another life, brother.